In-flight sim, each one of heading, track, desired track, course, and bearing are used in slightly different contexts. So let's try and understand what each of them is for. Your heading is the direction that your plane's nose is pointing. You can read it off the heading indicator or the compass, but they both will tell you what magnetic heading you're currently pointing at. The track is the actual path that your plane travels over the ground. It's rarely the same as your heading since the winds push your plane around, causing it to track either to the left or right of the heading that you're flying. Although our heading is 0 to 0 at the moment, because of the 19 knot crosswind from the left, we're actually flying a track of 0 to 7 across the ground. The course or desired track on the other hand is the intended direction of flight. It's the line you want to fly between point A and point B. The GPS shows you the desired track from your previous waypoint to the next one, and to fly to it, your track across the ground must match the desired track. A bearing, on the other hand, is simply the direction towards a specific target from your current position. Think of it as an arrow pointing from you to something else, be it a waypoint, airport, or anything else for that matter. As you fly around, your position changes, and so does the bearing to that waypoint, and it'll be updated in real time. Whether you're flying a C-152 or a 777, your heading, track, course, and bearing are always in play, and getting them right makes the virtual world feel a whole lot more real.